Hi. So here we have a problem. This is one more very famous or popular kind of problem based on percentage where the price of the commodity is increased by a certain percent and if you want to keep your expenditure intact, that means if you don't want to increase your expenditure, you usually reduce on consumption. So this problem is based on that concept. If we read the problem statement, problem statement says, the price of wheat is increased by 12%. Find the reduction in consumption so that there is no change in expenditure. And this particular problem we are going to solve using two methods. In first method, we are going to assume the price and the quantity consumed as 100, 100 each. And then we will solve this problem. And in next method, we are going to solve it using variables. So if you are comfortable using variables, that will definitely be a faster method. Right. So first method in which we are going to solve is we are going to assume the quantity which was consumed earlier as 100. So let's assume the case of before increase. Let's assume that quantity consumed was 100 kgs and rate per kg was also 100. Right. So if this is the first case, then the total expenditure in this case will be 100 multiplied by 100, right? This would have been the expenditure. They are consuming 100 kgs and rate per kg is 100. So total expenditure would have been 100 multiplied by 100 and this is equal to 10,000, right? This was the expenditure before increase. And what they are saying next? Next they are saying that the price of the wheat is increased by 12%. That means if we talk about new or after increase, increased price. So the price or the rate will become, I am writing new rate as NR and this will be 12% more than the previous rate. That means this will be 112, right? And quantity we don't know, quantity we have to find. So if we assume the quantity as X, in this case, the total expenditure will be 112 multiplied by X, right? Yes. And what they're saying, they're saying that this quantity is actually the reduced quantity in order to keep the expenditure intact. That means this total expenditure 112 X is actually equal to 10,000. Right? Because these total expenditure will be equal. So from here, X, which is the new quantity, this will be equal to 10,000 divided by 112. So if we solve it, this 112 is actually divisible by 4. So I'm going to divide it by 4. 4 to the 8, 4 is the 32. And this 100 divided by 4 will be 25. And this will be followed by two zeros right and this again can be divided by 4. 4 7s are 28 and this will be 4 6s are 24, 4 to the 8 and 4 5s are 20. So from here new quantity will be x equal to 625 by 7. This is equal to 7 8s are 56. 7 9s are 63, 2 by 7, right? So the new quantity has become 89, 2 by 7. Since old quantity was 100, so the change in quantity or the change in consumption will be 100 minus 89, 2 by 7. Or it can be written as 100 minus 625 by 7, right? So if I take LCM, LCM will be 7 and from here we will get 100 multiplied by 7, 700 minus 625 and this will be equal to 75 by 7 or it can be written as 10, 5 by 7 will be the change in quantity if we assume the quantity as 100, right? And since we have assumed the quantity as 100, this will also be the percent change. So the percent change in the consumption is they have reduced the consumption by 10, 5 by 7 percent. This is the change in consumption. When the prices are increased by 12 percent, 
consumption has to be reduced by 10 5 by 7 percent right we need not to find the percent again because we have assumed the original quantity as 100 and this is the benefit of assuming the quantities or the values as 100 right in the beginning so this was one method where we have assumed the quantity and the rate as 100 and then we have solved this problem right and now let's solve it using variables so in first case the quantity consumed we will assume as q and the rate for which this quantity was consumed i'll assume as r and for the second case this reduced quantity which is consumed i'll assume as q1 and rate is actually 12 percent more than the previous rate that means the new rate will automatically be 112 percent that means 112 by 100 of r right and what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find the reduction in consumption so that there is no change in expenditure. That means we have to find how much percent of the consumption is reduced to keep the expenditure intact. That means we actually have to find Q minus Q1 divided by Q multiplied by 100, right? This will be the change in the consumption and this is original consumption. So if I want to find the percentage change, I have to do Q minus Q1 divided by Q multiplied by 100. This will tell us the percent change in the consumption. See all those things which I am talking, you can actually think mentally and solve it directly. So since the expenditure is not changed, then the expenditure in the first case, which is actually Q multiplied by R will be equal to the expenses in the second case, which is Q1 multiplied by 100 and 12 by 100 R, right? So from here, if I find Q1, Q1 will be equal to Q multiplied by R multiplied by 100 divided by 112 R, right? This R and this R will get cancelled. And of course, if you are in a hurry, you can cancel these R's directly from here. And if you cancel them from here, you will directly reach to this isn't it or you can directly write equal to 100 Q divided by 112 right so Q1 is 100 Q divided by 112 and what we have to find we have to find the change in consumption that means we have to find Q minus Q1 so this will be equal to Q minus Q1 in terms of Q is 100 Q divided by 112. This will be equal to if I take LCM, LCM will be 112 and this will be equal to 112 Q minus 100 Q, right? Or this will be equal to 12 Q divided by 112 right and what we have to do next next we have to find the person change and for that we have already found the value of q minus q1 that is the change in the quantity and now we have to find how much percent is this change of the original quantity right so we will do q minus q1 divided by q multiplied by 100 so this will be equal to so if i substitute the value of q minus q1 over here i'll get 12 q divided by 112 multiplied by 1 by q multiplied by 100 right this q and this q will get cancelled so if i solve it further 4 3 is a 12 4 2 is a 8 4 8 is a 32 4 7 is a 28 4 2 is a 8 4 5 is a 20 so this will be equal to 25 multiplied by 3 that is 75 by 7 or it can be written as 10 5 by 7 percent right this is the exactly same value which we have got using the method in which we assume the quantity and the rate as 100 and then we solve it in this method also where we are solving it using variables again we get same percent reduction in consumption right so whichever method you use it's completely up to you so bye bye